If there's ever one thing that you know for certain, it's that Keith Richards is going to have a Telecaster tuned to an open G at the ready at all times. I remember as a kid trying to play brown sugar in standard tuning, you know, like this. <laughs> having no idea that there was even such a thing as an open G tuning and totally marveling at the mystery of how Keith Richards could get his chords to sound that way. Of course, nowadays, thanks to the wonders of YouTube, few songs are truly a mystery. My name is Anthony Parker. This is the Near Life Experience. And today I'm going to go over three Rolling Stones classics that use the open G tuning to perfection. <laughs> get started, I want to thank the Near Life Experience official shop for sponsoring this video. Head on over to anthonyparkerexp.com and check out some of the cool stuff we have like guitar picks, the Rock Heroes guitar instruction book, instructional videos, and more. Now you may not know this, but Keith Richards liked to take the low E string off of his open G tuned guitars because, well, he didn't really need it. So let's do that right now. Handy little machine, eh? With that out of the way, what better song to start with than the one with the two chords and the three strums that everybody instantly recognizes. Now, I'm a bit embarrassed to admit that I thought this song was way older than it actually is. I've even gotten mad while driving in my car and listening to the local 80s radio station when they played it. I've been like, wait, that's not an 80s song. Oops, <laughs> I guess it is. Anyway, some have referred to Start Me Up as the last great Rolling Stones song. Now, I don't know about that, but what I can tell you is that the guitar work on this song is simple, yet massively effective open G awesomeness. Let me show you. Back in 1971, while playing the title role in the movie Ned Kelly, Mick Jagger wrote the most lewd and controversial song maybe of his life. Sold in the market down in New Orleans, scarred old slaver knows he's doing all right, hear him whip the women just around midnight. Mick said this about it. God knows what I'm on about in that song. It's such a mishmash. All the nasty subjects in one go. I would never write that song now. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't really fly today. The guitar part, however, will always be timeless. The word iconic barely gives justice to those first two chords. Once again, it's in that sweet open G tuning, this time flying all over the fretboard to create its magic. Let me show you.
1971, on the Sticky Fingers album, the Rolling Stones put out a song that may contain one of the greatest guitar intros of all time. Known by many for its appearance in the gangster movie classic Casino, Can't You Hear Me Knocking opens with Keith Richards taking the concept of a guitar riff and stretching it out like no other. I could really go on and on, but words don't do it justice, so let me just play this thing. <laughs> 